Hey everybody, welcome back to the Couch Channel. We are looking today at our analytics for the month of February in the year 2022. With everything still on fire. Only now it can be also literal fire instead of figurative fire. Ah. Blast it. So first of all, we're going to go to last 28 days just because it gives you... Like, views are about the same... Watch time's about the same. 14 subscribers, though, in the last 28 days, so that's pretty good. So now we're going to go to... Because it doesn't give me these uh, little caveats. Uh, first of all, before we get into the actual stuff, though, as we will break this down, I want to say thank you so much for we hit 300 f subscribers in the month of February. We're on our way to our goal of 500. After 500 is the really big goal. The big goal is 1,000. When you have a thousand subscribers on YouTube, and I think we already have way more watch time than we need. Usually, the watch time is not the hard thing, it's the subscribers. But if you can hit those marks, you can monetize your channel. Now, I had always wondered, should I monetize my channel as soon as possible? Because maybe, you know, maybe you want to get to 2,500 or even 5,000 or more. And I had planned on doing some research and getting stuff done the right way. Here's the issue. Uh, the issue is that in July of 2021, YouTube made a change to their algorithm. And that change is basically that they can put ads on your videos whenever they want. So I dug a little deeper. And the problem with my weight strategy now is that YouTube is going to probably put ads onto this thing no matter what when it hits a thousand. And we're still a ways off from that, I understand. So, really, if they're going to put ads on no matter what, we might as well just enable monetization. Again, that's this nice button right here is going to be a little ways away still. But we are getting there, and I'm really happy about that. So thank you guys so much for all that you do for the channel because you do a lot and I appreciate you so let us look at what we have right now we are 309 as I said we hit 300 in February we have 109 views in the last 48 hours we got some gaps we got some gaps we got some non gaps it's okay but in the month of February we had 3200 views 466 hour and a half hours of watch time and another nine subscribers and then here we have you know, we have our uh, usual stuff, and then we had a big dip. Surviving the Aftermath has been going on so long, I'm not surprised, but I am committed to finishing that damn game. And then Power to the People. I like Power to the People a lot, and I'm playing it when I want to on my own. But the issue is that it's not very good YouTube. It might be a really good streaming game when you're in it, but we don't stream on this channel. I don't really have the ability to do that. I don't have the time commitment to do that so yeah it's really not good and then we started doing and then we added our other one which is a banner of the maids around here somewhere there it is yeah and that got us a little tick up we also have our symphony of war demo which has done very well as you will see and then our channel update video the channel update videos don't do as well as I kind of hoped but maybe as we do more of them you guys will get more used to tell me what kind of news you want so top videos, still how to upgrade on Super Robot Wars, and the Symphony of War demo. This game is great. If you haven't gone and seen my Symphony of War demo, go watch it. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description for that. But it is a lot of fun. It is a combination Fire Emblem Ogre battle game. And I'm on the Discord with the uh, creators and a bunch of other fans. It's really cool. They're going to do a private beta. So no channel content is going to come from that. And probably I don't think I'm going to really have a lot of time to participate in a private beta, unfortunately. Because if I have time to make play games more than just a little, I should be making content for the channel. So, you know. Let me have some Dungeon Beneath. Fairy tale panty raid again. Uh, I regret without regretting making that video. You know what I mean? We have our uh, latest video is Surviving the Aftermath, number 46. 
good impressions. And then in the last uh, 48 hours, Symphony of War, Robot Wars, and the newest Banner of the Maid. I like Banner of the Maid. It's a really fun uh, alternate history. Girls have magical powers, kind of, sort of, maybe. I'm not that far into it that you guys know about, so I don't want to spoil things that I have not gotten to post yet. But, uh, yeah, here's our views. Watch time's about the same. Uh, power to the people. Fun game, just not super great on the... And then subscribers. And, of course, you always have these little dips. But here we had, like, three subscribers. Oh, my God. But, yeah, we had some pretty good growth. I was really... I always get nervous when I hit near, like, 300, 200, 100, 300. Because it seems to take a lot longer than it... It actually doesn't, but... You know, you get re you feel it a little more than you should when you lose the subscriber. Then, our impressions are down. Our click rates only slightly down. Our views are, and that's probably because at the beginning we were doing a lot of recipe for disaster, which was doing really well. And then uh, we also had some really good uh, news stories, I believe. You know, not every month goes up, unfortunately. I'm sure there's some. Uh, actually, Cal, if you were competent like I am, your numbers would go up 1,000% every single month. Uh, I'm not competent, I guess, so whatever. Uh, most of the stuff is coming from playlists. Then we have our browse features. People who are looking through YouTube, playlist page, suggested videos, and others. 40% of our impressions are from recommendations, which is good. I like that our thing is getting recommended. 3% uh, click-through rate, it's not great, but we're getting 1,500 views from impressions. 8-minute average view duration and watch time from the impressions is over 200 hours. I believe that's going up. Uh, Google search rpgcodex.net. I don't know what the hell that is. Discord, too. What the hell is VK? So we're getting a lot more traffic, actually. That's cool. And then the playlists. People love the Dungeon Beneath. I really, really wish that the Dungeon Beneath, or I'm sure they're working on either their next game or another update for the Dungeon Beneath, but man, I love that game so much. It's just that, you know, uh, at very high levels, and I've said this many times before, so I apologize if this bores you, very high levels, the only viable parties really, unless you get super lucky on item drops and class drops, is a heal party. Or an armor party. Those are the only two parties that are worth going to at high levels in the dungeon beneath on the hardest difficulties. Hopefully they will bounce those to where things like poison, bestial summons, other builds that I can't even think about. Like all archers or all mages are more vi viable and cool. But for now those are the only ones that are really worth playing at about level 3 or difficulty or higher. But it is a fun game. I can understand why lots of people come and see it. Uh, Goku takes off why... Thankfully, everything else is the suggested videos from the Dungeon Beneath, but... <sighs> oh, well. And then YouTube searches the Dungeon Beneath. Symphony of War and Symphony of War, the Nephilim Saga, combined... Thank God I realized that I should be putting those into both of my search algorithm. Combined, this is actually... Two and three are actually the same thing, just depending on how people type it out. So it's actually higher than the dungeon beneath. So we're definitely. I'm really looking forward to the game. Uh, surviving the aftermath is pretty good. People do like watching it, just vegging out. Resident Evil Disaster did very well too while we were playing it. I was having a lot of fun with that. Uh, Recipe for Disaster. I argue that it doesn't make any sense to have. You just keep having to have this massive bloated menu as you play, and you know. And then we lose. Uh, no, not bad. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just need to be more dramatic and awesome on our key moments for audience retention. Because I'm not happy about the uh, only 26% still watching at 30 seconds. But, you know, li live and learn and do better. So, we have, you know, your watch time went down. 
It's taking it's on an upswing, you know, average view. Up and down, yeah. Whereas unfortunately the recipe ended and then we tried power to the people. Gonna have to try harder. Top videos by watch time. Thirty hours for Symphony of War actually dethroning the dungeon beneath. Top playlist, it's still gonna be the dungeon beneath. Uh top videos by end screen. We don't have an end screen, that's why they're all zero. So, you know. Then audience. Audience is important. We should always thank Splattercat as well as Retro and Wanderbots because, man, they're helpful. So returning viewers and new viewers. New viewers shot up after the Symphony of War demo right about here. So that's probably where, yep, that's where it's coming from. So I like that. Uh, welcome to the channel, you guys. New viewers who returned. Symphony of War did, didn't have a lot of watch time, but still had moderate. And then everything else is a little low for a smaller channel like me. People are like, oh, that's interesting. But, you know, I already watched 50 million other people. You should watch me. Unique viewers. Estimate number of people who watch your content within the selected range. And then subscribers. We had a really good subscriber month in January, so... Don't let the down 65% fool you. I'm still pretty happy. Sometimes it's stuff that just stays on there. I'm not sure why. Other videos, your audience, not enough. So my audience is not big enough to be able to figure it out, unfortunately. Here's when our viewers are. We have a fair number of people watching around the weekdays. I usually try to schedule the upload while I'm at lunch off work. Uh, top geographies are America. Germany, Sweden, Canada, and Poland. Which is still, what, 32, 33.7, 7 .7, And then, here's where I get show how stupid I am with math. 37. We'll say that's 40. So, you know, more than 4 out of 10 of you come from... North America and or Europe. So that's probably my biggest areas. Can I see more? Ooh. You can also do age range, which we will. So United States, Germany, Sweden, Canada, Poland, Ruskies, France, Brazil, Bulgaria, Australia. Ooh, Jamaica. I haven't seen Jamaica ever. And and uh viewer age is about what you expect for a YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of people with a disposable income. And then this is going to increase as the channel increases as well because gamers are aging but not aging out. And some older gamers. But it's all good stuff. Watch well, time from subscribers. 88% of people who watch those stuff are not subscribed. Guys. We could ha be monetized and getting tons of cool stuff right now. User specified. Is that new? What does that mean? And there's our age thing. I'm not even sure what this means. Like, not. I prefer not to say? Or, I don't know. But high male demographics on gaming channel. Unfortunately, not really. Female gamers prefer to listen and watch female gamers. I understand why. The internet can be a rude place sometimes to people for no reason. I promise you I won't be rude to you unless you're a fictional character in the game that screws me over. Then I reserve the right to scream. But guys, that is it for our analytics of the month of February. Overall, I'm pretty happy we hit the next big mark. We're going on our march to 500. We are... Do... I was looking at like uh, some other games that are the, there was a Steam Fest, as you guys could tell, because I had some cool demos. Like this Nova Islands game looks kind of fun. It's a little ways up. This guy is riding a pig. I want this game now. You basically just get dropped on an island and you have to. Oh my God! It's got bosses. I've only watched one. This one dude named Rick from Stump play. But here I'll just show you guys the wish list for stuff that I'm thinking about. Potion Tycoon, Ignited Steel, World Box God Simulator, Steering Early Access. I am trying. Cool Keeper looked really fun too. Far Away from Home looked awesome, mainly because I can see that uh, one of your party members is in the stock. 
And I fully support playing the dog. So we'll see if that's any good. Uh, Spirit Link Tactics is going to be a while out, though. Dune is going to be a while out. Falling Frontier, supposed to be quarter two, but, you know, that stuff can... Norland may or may not be a good idea. The Iron Oath might be really cool. Tribe to Survive. Fate. Fata Doom. The Universe Sim has had a really huge moon update. Uh, Dome Romantic looked kind of fun. I don't know if it's something we'll play. There's a upgrade to Wizardry, the 5 Odeos. It's in early access, but if it ever comes out, I love dungeon crawlers like this, man. Like six, five, give me a good dungeon crawler with six people. It's currently unavailable in my language zone. I don't know if that's going to change. But yeah. All kinds of really, the Moons of Oden, what was this one again? You're like settling planets or something, I don't remember, but. Roman Triumph kind of looked interesting. Imperial Arms looked a little interesting. Adrian Farms, ah, uh, that one looked okay. Kriegs Front Tactics, Symphony of War, Farthest Frontier, War Hospital is, uh, Ixion is basically, uh, what, Frostpunk in space is the best description I've seen of it. And hell yes, I'm up for that. War Hospital is amazing. It's in, like, World War One. But you're, instead of being in charge of army units, you're in charge of a, of hospitals and taking care of British and soldiers, probably other cinema, uh, soldiers too. Look, but these games look so good. There is so much good stuff coming on the Cow's channel this year. And if you're not subscribed, most of the people watching this all, but to the couple of people who go watch this analytic video, if you're not subscribed, you're going to miss out. So subscribe, ring the bell, comment, like. And if you see a game that you think that the cow should play, this channel is just for us to have fun. So raise your hand and say, hey, go to Steam, go to Epic, go to itch.io, go here, see this game, give it a shot. And you know what? Maybe we will. Because the game is all about how the game is about having fun. But the channel is about playing games that we can have fun with. And man, it's been a couple of years. We can use some fun. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much as always for tuning in and listening to my rambling analytical video. And I'll see you guys later. Come on, really cool games in March.